The Politburo of the Sri Lanka Freedom Party convened at the Sri Lanka Foundation Institute after the meeting was called for by SLFP Senior Vice Chairman Nimal Siripala de Silva. Former President Chandrika Bandar Naika Kumaratunga also attended this meeting. <laughs> As per the official document signed during the recent Politburo meeting, the Sri Lanka Freedom Party's Politburo comprises 15 members. They are Maitri Pala Sirisena, Sarathi Dushmanta Mitrapala, Hector Bethmage, Attorney at Law Kheer Tudavatta, Professor Rohana Lakshman Piyadasa, Dr. Chamila Lianage, President's Counsel Faiza Mustafa, K.P. Gunavardhana, Nimal Siripala De Silva, Veera Kumar Disanayaka, Sajin Divas Gunavardhana, Sarathi Kanayaka, Metsiri De Silva, Indika Rajapaksa and Lakmal Vikram Arachi. However, Duminda Dzanayaka asserts that according to documents submitted to the Election Commission, only 11 members actively participate in the party's Politburo. He said that during today's meeting, six of these members were in attendance. Nimal Siripala de Silva was selected as the acting chairman of the party. It was important to include the participation of Chandrika Bandaranayaka Kumaratunga into the Politburo at this crucial time. It was not a formal invitation, but she provided us with advice and played an observational role in the Politburo. We hope to include a clause on leadership into the party's constitution. It was also decided that I would be vested with the duties of the party's secretary, given the fact that the party's general secretary did not act legally. Former President Chandrika Bandaranayaka Kumaratunga said she would support to uplift the Sri Lanka Freedom Party. I said I will not contest the 2015 presidential election. Then the SLF General Secretary was brought forward. However, he too ruined the country and the party. That error was rectified today. President's Council Faisal Mustafa said that the appointment of Nimal Siripala as acting chairman is legal. The party constitution was followed in all matters. When the party leader has a restraining order against him, the Politburo will have to appoint an acting chairman. The power is vested with the Politburo. The Politburo that met today also extended an invitation to the Maitri Pala Sirisena faction to work together. There is no requirement to remain in one post. We invite Maitri Pala Sirisena, Daya Sirisena and others to work with us.